the n is an integer. We try to prove the expression here is multiplied by 120. So what are we going to do is we're going to rely on a well-known fact that is covered in a previous video. We have proven that for n consecutive numbers, the product is going to be multiplied by n factorial. That is, the product of n consecutive integers is divisible by n factorial. We're going to use this fact in today's proof. All right, let's get started. So when you look at this expression, it is not obvious that this is going to be a multiple of this is five factorial, five consecutive integers. That's probably not the case. But what we want to do is maybe start to factor this expression here. So let's look at this. Let's assume the expression equal s. Notice that the first two terms and the second terms here both have n plus 2. In the first case, what you have is n fifth power n plus 2 and minus n times n plus 2. You have a common factor that is n plus 2 and then n fifth minus n. So you're going to take out n here. You have n plus 2 n and then you have n fourth minus 1. Now this term here can be factored as n squared minus 1 n squared plus 1. So let's do that. Let's, I'm going to skip one step here. So that's n squared minus 1 times n squared plus 1. All right, that's good. Now n squared minus 1 can be further factored n minus 1 and n plus 1. So let's write it here. So it's going to be n minus 1 times n times n plus 1 times n plus 2. And then you have term n squared plus 1. Okay, here, notice that you do have some consecutive integers. Okay, this n squared split into n minus 1 plus 1, and that's n, and that's n plus 2. So we have four consecutive integers, but we need five, because 120 is 5 factorial. Now how do we get that? In order to have the fifth one, you either need to have, we're looking for either n plus 3 or n minus 2. Yeah. So n minus 2 would be missing here or n plus 3 missing here. But we only get n squared plus 1. Now how do we get uh, the desired factor? The trick here, that is, for this term, okay, we're going to rewrite it. We write it as n squared minus 4 plus 5. Okay, n squared minus 4, of course, that can be factored as n minus 2 and n plus 2. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do the algebra here. What are we going to do is we're going to split this expression into two terms. Okay, and then by the algebra here, we're going to split the whole thing into two terms. The first term, we do have five consecutive numbers from n minus 2, n minus 1, n, n plus 1, and n plus 2. Of course, we also have n plus 2. We have another n plus 2. Yeah. So you times, times n plus 2. And then the second term is going to have 5 times, you do have 5 here, and you have 4 consecutive numbers. So let's write it here. That's n minus 1 times n times n plus 1 times n plus 2. Yeah. So here, what we derived is 5 consecutive number here and 4 consecutive. Now this, by the earlier fact about the fact that n factorial divides n consecutive integers, 
So we know that the first term is five integers, five consecutive integers. So that's going to be a multiple of 120 here. So that's going to be 120 times something here. And here is going to be four factorials multiple. That is 24. But if it times 5, that becomes 120. So the both term here, the first and the second, is a multiple of uh, 120. So 120 divides the whole expression here. That is, we have just proven this fact. All right? Hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.